Hey, how you doing? It's John here. Uh, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. If you don't know who I am, my name is John. I'm from Wisconsin and I just do a lot of fishing you know, since I was a kid. So I really enjoy the outdoors, enjoy fishing. So welcome. Thank you for joining me. I have some good news. We're close to a thousand subscribers. So I'm really excited. I know you are too. And so thank you all for your, all your support. Thank you so much. I cannot say that enough. Um, just really thankful. Hey, so I'm no expert in fishing. Um, I still continue to learn every single time I go out. And I think that's the most important part about fishing is that you learn something new and it, you have to enjoy it. And you learn to appreciate fishing. I'm really looking forward to 2022 and I know some amazing stuff is going to be happening. I know we're going to be growing together and just growing through the experience. So I'm really looking forward to that and just more adventurous uh, adventures to come. And I really want to share that with you all. I have a cool gift that I want to give away. So all you have to do is just comment down below uh, your favorite fish and I'll pick a name and then you know uh, whoever wins will get that special gift of mine so today I want to show you how I tie my knot when I'm fishing for walleyes or white bass uh, out here in the river here in Fort Axon, Wisconsin so I believe it's a really effective knot it's called the non-slip knot I found this on YouTube so I'll leave the link down to the original video that I learned it from and this is how I tie it so I want to show you guys how you can easily do it it's a very simple knot to tie and um, I know you can do it too and this knot just really allow more of an action to the to the flyer to your hook so um, I think the number one thing to this knot that I really like is that it actually give the fly or the hook the opportunity or the capability to kind of maneuver and have some action to it so in that way even if you come close to some kind of bigger rocks or it can kind of stump it kind of bounce off or it has the chance to bounce off rather than just going straight on and hooking itself onto something right so i really look forward to so if you want to learn how to uh, tie a super effective knot it also will give better action to your fly or to your hook then this is the knot that you want to learn how to tie, add to your arsenal, and just be more effective and just catch more fish. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to tie the non-slip knot. If you like fishing, give it a thumbs up on this video here. And I'm gonna use a giant hook for a demonstration so that you can see better, and a yarn so you can see better as well. So uh, I feel like I'm gonna go catch a grouper, but anyways, gonna do a overhand uh, a loop here. You're gonna do an overhand loop right there and stick that tag in into the eye of the hook um, giving that kind of space between from the eye from the hook to the loop that you made so in that way you have room to wiggle around to tie your your knot and then next put the tag in into the the loop like that all right there you go okay and then like that and then you want to kind of move things closer to the eye of the hook so in that way uh, it's just easier to work with easier to hold um, normally, you know, I, it's much easier for me to do it out in the uh, out in the open than on camera here. But I normally go over like six times. You don't have to go too crazy about it. Six or seven is good enough. And then bring it back back to the loop like that, going back where you came from basically. Okay, so as, as you can see here, that's how I do it. I think in the video he does it the opposite way, but this is how I do it. You cinch it down, usually this is the part where you lubrication right here, make things easier to uh, travel and less friction, and cut the tag in. And that is it, man, that is that simple, very simple, there you go. Now you look at all that action, look, your, your hook is free, man. It's, it is as free as possible, you can do the, all the action it wants to do. Um, so your fly is freely flying around, right? Now it gives it more natural action. So next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the fly. This is the fly and a actual fishing line right now. So uh, hopefully things get in focus for you guys. But yeah, overhand loop right there. And then give yourself some uh, space there and then put that tag in into the eye of the fly. Eye of the fly. And then put that tag in into that loop. Going back to the main line. And then, you know, you fix your loop you know accordingly to the way you like it and then give it a like five six wrap but that loop it's all on you you know all on what works best for you I try to make it um, much larger than normal so that way it has room to travel for the for the fly uh, just in case you know and I feel like just give it better action you know especially when you're fishing in water 
um, in, 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 in water, in the river, right? Uh, going against the current, things like that. And it could be, um, uh, you know, less, less of a, a, a snag, you know, right? When your, your hook is more mobile. So less of a snag when there's more mobility to that hook. So it's going to have room to wiggle. And I think overall the action just look way nicer than as compared to like a clinch knot or a polymer knot where you, uh, it is a strong knot, but then again, it doesn't give that fly that action that you might want when you're jigging with it or um, just uh, working the fly through the current. So this is it. Hopefully this helps. And again, like and subscribe. And hopefully this will work for you and give it a shot. It might be more effective. You might catch more fish, so good luck. So if you haven't yet, or if you're new to this channel, like and subscribe, so in that way we can pass it on to all the young ones that want to learn how to fish. So I'm really excited. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.